How long until I can get to uh, 40, I think? How do you feel today? As long as I can do eight on each arm, three sets each eight, then move up there. Hop with water. Four on my own. So six and all. Ah, 
thank you. Can you watch how I do it? I do something wrong with my shoulder. My left shoulder is fine. I have it wedged in there perfectly, but then on my right side, it's like I feel all this tension in my shoulder and I think I just never figured it out. I don't know if I'm, I might be doing something wrong. Maybe I just need to tighten it up a little on my shoulder itself. I don't know. Um, what I, uh, so I used to have a, the same issue. But you're, you're, you're pulling probably with your front delt to compensate a little bit whenever you're close to failure. Does it, does it happen whenever the rep gets hard, when it gets difficult? Or is it just the second you start curling even during the warm up? I don't know, I didn't really pay that much attention. I had the exact same thing and it would pop my shoulder and it would be from trying to kind of do a front raise almost, even if I didn't realize it. So try to keep that shoulder fixed. Don't cheat with it at all. Uh, even if you're not cheating, simply just flexing your front delt, trying to do a front raise on accident, that can hurt a lot. So, and also when you're doing it, don't jam your shoulder up like yeah. this. Make sure your shoulder's nice and down, okay? You don't have to roll your shoulder back, but I'm saying it shouldn't be like, this. I started just jamming my, my, my tricep into this so that way I wouldn't use my delt as much. Up of a ball. What does this do that this doesn't do? Big question. I know it's different strength curvatures, and one is easier than the other because. Yeah, well, in some ways. So, like, for hammer curls, grip is a little bit harder, but that's not what you're trying to work. It's just harder to grip something when it's trying to slide, you know what I mean? Uh, but what the hammer curls are trying to target is your brachialis, so let me just... Yeah, up here. Yeah, it's underneath your bicep, right here. Or actually, it's probably more right here. And that's, so that's what you're trying to target. And because we're doing it on this bench, it's the most hard and most difficult in this bottom range here. And the brachialis has the highest leverage to produce force, to, to torque the arm from this range. And so, that muscle gets tons of activation when you do a hammer curl like this. And so it's gonna develop that thickness in your arm, that 3D look. That makes sense? And then what does that one do, just the bicep right there? Yeah, so whenever you're out like this, it is mainly just bicep. You're getting a little bit of brachialis, but not as much as when you isolate it by turning your wrist over. Because when you turn your wrist in, the more you turn it in, the less bicep you get. 
So be ready to help me with two at the end. Two more. Ugh. Okay. I didn't know that was the one, my bad. You're good. I see the microphone. Yeah. He sometimes forgets because he flipped it on to so many random things. No, I just beeped. I was like, yeah. Yeah, yeah. He's been doing that for a year, two, two, three. Nah, nah. I've been, well, I mean, I've been making videos for like two years now. What do you say? Like and subscribe. Like and subscribe. I appreciate it. Hit that notification, though. Yeah, yeah. Don't forget the notifications. Nah, but I've been making uh, like long videos, like, you know, gym vlogs and stuff for probably like 120 days. Or so, oh, yeah. Yeah, so. I mean, you are here for extra boxing content. So it works out. Actually, mm -hmm. does. I would, know, I would definitely. Hundred uh, percent. Yeah, no, I, I like it. I just, I gotta remind myself to be consistent because you know, a lot of, a lot of guys who made it big on YouTube, they didn't get that many views for a long time. Are you, you like know? serious, like powerlifting? Powerlifting, no. Or are you just like making a channel? More like bodybuilding. Right? Yeah, just, I just want to get as big as possible. Oh no, yeah, like I want to just make this my thing for sure. I want to make this a career. Yeah, that's what I meant. That's cool. Yeah. That's so, uh, see, he's just trying to be jacked and big and tall. He's Honestly, already he there. Get to 250. You heard me, you heard me YouTube. Yeah. <laughs> Would you mind uh, helping me on this? Yeah. So whenever I fail, if you could just help me get that last couple of inches on a few more reps. Thank you. You the pop with the first one? I think he should be good. Yes, he can. Okay. Thanks for helping. Mm -hmm.
Oh. <laughs> hey, thank you, bro. I appreciate it. I knew I needed a strong guy. Dude, there's nothing like when somebody helps you on that last couple inches. Yeah. The contraction is just crazy. I need to get to a point where I up the weight. <laughs> 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 You know, Jordan, it, it actually hit the floor. My bad. You're good, man. It's fine. I literally put it down and I watched it. You've got it, okay? Honestly, I'm not that much of a germaphobe. It's whatever. Five more. Say yes. Dude, I, I don't even know how I got five. You want 25? Yeah. You know what's something interesting about this machine? The more weight you add, it gets like harder in the sense of the first plate's the easiest plate. The second plate's a little bit harder. You know what I'm saying? The third, and then I'll imagine if the whole sleeve was filled up. You know how physics is. I would have to generate a lot more force if the plate was up there. Like I bet if we did a test and you were able to just get the plate, the first plate at the end, it would feel heavy, way heavier than the first yeah, plate is So it makes me think guys who are doing the full sleeve are like just bonkers. Yeah. Traps out the wazoo. Yes, sir, I did three. We're gonna do um, lat pull downs. We get the full stack here, boys. Oh! 
Oh, oh boy. Alex Eubank. What's up, bro? Oh, bro, I'm just hitting some back, some freaking biceps earlier. You know how it is. I saw you doing the uh, close stance leg press. That probably burned a lot. Fuck, dude. I'm just trying to, just trying to get legs like you, dude. My legs are <laughs> terrible. That's funny. Yeah. The hardest thing I've ever done in the gym, by far, is high rep, heavy leg press. By far. Go to the gym no matter what. I don't care what happens to you. Uh, you know, short of an injury, you go to the gym no matter what. I think it's one of the most valuable skills to learn. If this shirt's very hard to take off, by the way, but if you go to the gym when you're hurt, when you're sad, when you know you're having a rough time in life, you're depressed, you happy I don't care how you feel you need to be in the gym and you can't be thinking oh man I had such a good day you know today was just fun let me stay home you know it'll, it'll make my day complete no you need I don't care if you don't like it either that's the thing I did not like working out when I started in fact it scared me because the idea of training hard and stuff I was like dude that hurts you know it's not easy that's why it's called training hard but uh, you get to a point where, excuse me, you get to a point where it becomes worth it and it adds up and it's undeniable that you're a hard worker and you know, that'll just completely obliterate any bad experience that you would have going to the gym, you know, or doing this when you don't feel like it, you know, so anyway. I don't want to freaking lose my pump being a chatty Cathy here. I, I just want to show you guys the pump, all right, the lap pump. So today, really quick before I, you know, I'm still being a chatty Cathy. The reps were, I really tried to solidify that contraction. They didn't feel as good as I thought they would, but I think they could eventually. You know, it just depends on how the person is spotting, right? If they do too much, then it feels like you're not lifting. And if they do too little, then it feels like you still have to try really hard and you're not getting as solid of a contraction. But if they do just enough to, you know, negate like, say, 15% of that load, 20% of that load that you're lifting, then it's enough for it to feel almost light enough at the top for you to get a super hard contraction, you know? So I don't know. But anyway, 
they gotta look good. Abs are starting to look a little more blurry, but that comes with the territory, the bulk. We've been doing this now for what? This is a little more than a month and I've missed some videos. So we're talking almost 40 days, maybe probably even 40 days at this point. So 40 days of bulking. This is what my physique looks like. All right. Rolling up the sleeves, different kind of way. All right, take care boys.